These are the four things that we're going to talk about today. I'm going to give you a demo. To do it, we had to do some hacking. <laughs> I've got a cable connected to this demo device, this specific device I'll be using for demos. So on the side here, as you may have guessed, is a touchpad. I'm going to go ahead and tap on that, and it's going to take me to the home screen. If I go ahead and slide down, it'll dismiss, kind of like the back button on your Android phone. And it can also hear me. OK, Glass, how do, Google, how do you say thank you in Japanese? Oh, arigato. <laughs> so you'll see that you can clap as much as you want. It's totally fine. <laughs> All right, do you mind if I take a picture? OK, so we'll, we'll do this one. OK, Glass, take a picture. Hey, there we are. So I'm going to go to that picture I just took. Right? I'm here at the home screen. I'm going to slide forward. There's that picture. Don't you all look wonderful? <laughs> I'm going to tap right on that picture, and I get card options. Now, this picture is a timeline card. And on there, when I tap, I can get options, including share and delete. I'm going to choose share. And I'm going to share it with my friends on Google+. Done. These timeline cards, there's a bunch of them. <laughs> Sydney's taking some photos. I'm getting some updates from him. Uh, you'll notice that I have this picture. I've got the arigato. These are things that have happened in time. We're going backward in time as I swipe, sw swipe forward. If I swipe backward, we go forward in time, or to the left, and I can swipe all the way over here to some Google Now cards. A timeline card is just a discrete bit of data that you send to Google, and then Google syncs to the user's glass for you. Now, these timeline uh, cards can be text, images, rich HTML, it can be video. And they can also be bundles of things. Remember, we saw this with the, with the weather card. Whenever you see that fold in the upper right-hand corner and you tap on it, it'll expand into sort of a sub-timeline, if you will. Now, this is what it looks like in code. And it could be just as simple as this. Is you got a text variable set to hello world, you send that to Google, and we push a timeline card to the user that says hello world. You can insert images this way using a multi-part request. And you can insert rich HTML as well. Now, these items can be by themselves, or you can do bundling. There's also these card options. Now, remember, I tapped on that picture, and I got uh, share and delete. Well, you can specify that menu when you insert a timeline card, and it's really easy to do. To insert uh, system options, all you have to do is name them. So you can see we're back to this timeline card insertion. And we're specifying in the JSON, hello world. And I'm also specifying an array of card options. Hmm. To insert a share entity, it's a post request. But this time, it's on the share entities endpoint instead of the timeline endpoint, right? So we're just sending this to a different URL. To do that, you first need to subscribe to the timeline collection or whatever collection we make available. And you specify your subscription this way, by doing, again, a post request, using the RESTful protocol to say, hey, I want a subscription. Here's the user token and the verify token to repeat back to me so I know what you're talking about. And here's a callback URL. This is where I want you to send the data. And then what Google's going to do is every time it gets a user action, it's going to send you a lightweight ping in JSON. It's going to include things like the timeline ID. So in the case of a, a picture, You'll get that timeline ID, and then you'll do a get request on the timeline, like we saw earlier, and download the photo. Next up, guidelines. So this is really key, because it's a new platform. It's a new form of technology, so we need some new rules for the road. Let me just highlight them one more time on the screen here. You want to design for glass. 
specifically for the glass experience. You don't want to get in the way. We provide an experience for the user that's there when they want it. You want to keep it timely, make sure it's up to date and matters to them in the moment. And you want to avoid the unexpected. You want to keep away from anything that's going to jar them or shock them out of their life. <laughs> Does that sound like fun? Okay. First, let's start with the New York Times. Uh, it's, a, it's an article about the Harlem Shake. And uh, you'll notice it has the curl in the upper right-hand corner there, that fold. If I tap on this item, I get a bundle of all these different headlines and rich images. And if I tap on any one of these, I can get a card option for read aloud. So this, this is really great for me, actually, because I can hear it. <laughs> OK, let's do another. My favorite email service, Gmail. I'm going to go ahead and tap here. And it looks like I got an email just a moment ago from uh, Jenny, my colleague back in Mountain View. Unfortunately, she couldn't be here today. But we've got game night this Saturday. And I'm going to kick her butt. Let me just go ahead and reply to this email, if you don't mind. Are you kidding? I can't wait. Smiley face. And it's going to send that message to her. So let's look at this in a little bit more detail again. Next one is Evernote. So I'm going to swipe over to the picture I took of y'all. And I'm going to tap. I get my, sh my uh, card options there. I'm going to tap on Share. And I'm going to swipe to Sketch. I'm going to tap on Sketch. And sends an Android notification to my tablet, which is right here. And as you can see, there it is right there in Evernote. I've also got some sketches about fish and this talk, because that's what this talk needs is some more fish. All right. Let's go back to the presentation here and go through that again in detail. All right, should we do one more? So let's go ahead and see. Oh, I got a timeline card right at the front there that I took a photo. It was a demo device, so that's why there's multiple me's. Anyway. Um, this is really an excellent photo. I know. I took it. I'm going to go ahead and tap on it. And I get card options for all of these emoticons. And in fact, all the way at the end, I also have the ability to reply, which will add a comment to this post. Again, super simple, quick interaction that I can do while I'm going about my day. I'm going to choose on Smile. And that's done. Let's look at that flow. We looked at all of these things in detail. The demo, it gave you a quick look at the Glass UI. And we talked about the Mirror API. Remember, the four major components were timeline cards. And we looked deeply at each of these guidelines that we've been discovering as we've been building these new experiences for Glass. And finally, we looked at some examples. And this is just where we started with a few friends to test out the API in its early stages. And that's the thing. This is where we're starting. You've got to remember, and I'll leave you with this thought, the glass is in early days yet. We're really just getting started. And the reason we're talking about this today, the reason we want to start having this conversation, is that every time we say something and you guys respond with your, with your dreams and your visions for using this new technology, it's such a huge inspiration to us. And it really affects the work that we do on glass day to day. So please... Keep that coming. Thank you.